Sacrifice and offering. Through the symbol of your sovereignty, this scepter, the key to your resurrection and power, I will bring about the cataclysm. The final and decisive clash between the sons of light and the sons of darkness. Bring torches. The prince is beyond this breach. In what evil company or what its nature I cannot tell. This sign will strengthen and protect us. <laughs> Place. So, Lionheart, you think to deny my destiny? Your life's end is my destiny. Hurry, my lord. We must confine him. Please open the tomb. Help here. Move the slab. Me, will that hold him long? Damn you, spawn of Satan! Look to revelations, priest! No! no! I will be free! No. Look in your Bible! I will be unchained! And my freedom will Sit end up. this no. world! This is only the beginning! You! 
Help me. You say this is the source of his power? Yes, my lord, and the channel for his vileness. Console yourself, priest. If the words he spoke are true, then I have saved not only the infant prince, but the unborn children of generations to come. The words are true, sire. Everything he said is written. We must leave him in darkness, then, and pray that he never again sees the light of day. <sighs> Seal all entrances to this place. سليم ادخل بسرعة عايز اشوف شو في في Who's your supplier? You can't do this, you're a cop! Yeah? Watch this, you little piece of shit. Shut up! Don't shoot him, man, don't shoot him. Please, okay? All right. You little scum. Shut up! Let me talk to him, man. Just let me talk to him. You got a minute. Look, Jay Bird, why don't you just tell me who your supplier is, okay? And I won't let my partner blow your brains all over the street, all right? Okay, just talk to me, man. I got it, man. 
I'm a dead man if I do. Yeah, but you a dead man if you don't. Come on, why don't you, why don't you just whisper it in my ear? Come on, just, 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 just whisper it in my ear. Come on. Come on. Oh, man, time's up. You're dead. <laughs> Spider. Oh, Spider. thank you, thank now you. Now get lost. And if I ever see your ass around here again, it is shut us. <laughs> I love this good cop, bad cop shit, man. But next time, I want to be the bad cop. Oh, that feels better. Oh, how these get up here? <laughs> hey, I know this lady. She's really great. She's great. She could help you. I mean, she's not in my line of work or anything, but. Hey. Are you listening to me? That was the playoffs, you know, the playoffs. <laughs> Ain't you no sports fan either? Is it all right if I take a shower? <laughs> so what's going on with my Bulls tickets for game two? Working on it. Uh-huh. Who did he say the supplier was? Would you believe that it's that two-bit pimp spider Huh? Figures. Yeah, and speak of the devil. What's the matter? How you Oh, man. I hate pimps. What are you trying to say, Jackson? He's mine, Shatter. He's all mine. Okay. He's crazy. You don't need that. I don't need it to kick your ass. Is that right, tough guy? You're really that tough? Let's see. Then hit me. Hey, come on. Hit me, tough guy. Come on. Let's see how tough you really are. Call out a hit. That's a hit. Come on, be a good little pimp. Give me that hand. Come on, put it up there. There you go. Right, right, right. Sure feels good in here. Sure you don't want to join me? For 50, we can do it again in the shower. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Come in.
This is Mr. Schindler. Does he have it? Yes. Then your part is finished, Mr. Krieger. Your money. Take it and leave. I sought you out. I know what you are. And I know why you are here. And I found what can kill you. Die, servant of Satan. Die! Jackson, how about that Bulls game? Oh, shit. Bulls game. You're right about what I am and why I'm here. But this cannot destroy me. Call for an ambulance and a backup. Unit 32 to headquarters. We're at the Blue Ritz Hotel. Down to the light. Leave now, and I'll let you live. You're all hard, buddy. Speaking of hearts, yeah. See him? See what? How could I see anything with you on top of me? Oh. What the hell happened in here? What have I told you? I shot a guy in the chest, twice. 
and he still kicked the shit out of me. Oh, Shatter, come on. He was probably wearing a bulletproof vest, all right? All right, wise guy. Explain that down there. What? Take a look. Oh, shit! His heart's gone! No, it isn't. It's right there. Holy shit! Oh! Your attitude pisses me off. Get the hell out of here! Sergeant Shatter, I trust you're not bored by all this. No, I'm not bored. All right. Let's get to it. What the hell happened? It's in the report. The man that was murdered last night on Polanski Street was a rabbi. His name, Mordecai Schindler. An historian, very highly regarded. What the hell is a rabbi doing in a neighborhood like that? I expect you to find that out. And in the interim, the policy review people will want to know where those two rounds went. Me too. Oh. Oh, man. You know, the captain has taken some chunks out of my ass before. But this time, she left nothing but bone. Mm. That the evidence package? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, forensics called me, uh, expedited your rush job. Good. You find any fingerprints on this thing? Yeah, the rabbis. And, uh, somebody else that they can't identify. I wonder what it is. I don't know. So what are we looking for? The reason why that rabbi was in a hotel room like that. And who killed him? Maybe they were all having a menage a trois, and the rabbi was getting more than a share. What's that? I saw the rabbi walk into the hotel with someone. Mm. So did the desk clerk. What was this guy? Reinhard Krieger, dealer in antiquities. Professor Malcolm Lockley, MU. MU. It's uh, Mathis University, right here in Chicago. see Professor Lockley. Professor Lockley's heading a research project in Jerusalem at the university. I'm his assistant. Has it been gone long? A few days. We have something we want you to take a look at. I'll be right down. So from one to 10, what do you think? Don't say 12 now. Oh, you read my mind. Uh... I'd be happy to help you if I can. I'm Leslie Hawkins. I'm Sergeant Shatter. This is my partner, Detective Jackson. Mm. Would you show her what we got? Where did you get this? It turned up as evidence at a routine investigation. This looks like the crown of the scepter of Prosotanos. Proso who? Prosotanos is a mythological being who was present in many of the legends and stories of some Middle Eastern civilizations before and during the time of the Crusades. Mm, and you just happen to know all this? No. Professor Lockley has been studying these myths for quite some time. He lectures worldwide on mythology. If it's a myth, why do we have this? I know it's confusing, but 
The study of antiquities is different from archaeology or paleontology. Well, where's the rest of this scepter? According to the myth, the scepter was broken into nine sections by King Richard the Lionheart, and by his order, hidden in nine holy places, powerless. So you mean this is one of the nine pieces? I can't be sure. Professor Lockley would be the one to authenticate it when he returns. OK, um, would you give us a call as soon as he returns? And thank you very much for your time. My pleasure, Sergeant. <clears throat> thank you. Padre, veramente mi sento male. Tu vuoi che lo prendo io? Grazie, padre. Devo usare il gabinetto. Certo. Fra poco saremo nel Vaticano, dove lo sarà sicuro. Lei crede che ha già cominciato, come il padre Bertrand ci ha già avvertito? Tutti possiamo fare di tenerci strettamente con la nostra fede e la volontà di Dio ci guiderà. Io voglio il gabinetto. Certo, certo. Però sarebbe bene di chiudere la porta con chiave. Certo, padre. Tu devi sempre tieni strettamente alla tua fede, padre. Oh, Dio mio! Nonostante come inutile c'è. Take a look at this. Perot says he'll run again for president in 1996. <laughs> you know, I like this guy. Man. I really do. <laughs> well, I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? How bad's the bad? This bad. Uh, wait a minute. <clears throat> if this is the bad news, then what the hell is the good news? The Israeli police want to question us. Oh, okay, sure. So where are they? In Israel. We leave in four hours. Say what? We're also escorting the rabbi back. Wait, 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 shut it. Hey, hey, hey. You were in the room when the shit hit the fan. I mean, I didn't see anything. I mean, why in the hell do I have to go? Why can't I just tell you everything that I know and then you can tell them, huh? How could I possibly leave without you? You're my partner, man. So that's it. What? You asked for me to go, didn't you? No, 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 I didn't. Well, I ain't going. I ain't going. I don't care what anybody says, I ain't going. Fine, fine. Oh, boy. Yeah. Here we go. 
gonna pack us in like sardines, at least they could have put some damn olive oil in the seats. Man. Mm. Long flight, huh? Follow me, please. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, what about the uh, rabbi's body? Yeah, we're escorting the remains of an important rabbi here. We'll see to that. Our driver will take you to the hotel we have arranged for you. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. I just, I don't care. Whatever you want to do. So. You want to put this in the trunk? Here, here. In the front? Oh, OK. You'll meet Captain Arad this afternoon, and I strongly suggest you dress appropriately. Appropriately? Of course. Hey, uh, <clears throat> Shalom. Uh, hey, could you, uh, like, turn up the air conditioner? I'm, I'm, like, burning up back here. Huh? The AC, AC. Uh, yeah. Any more requests? Hey, 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 I, you think you can go a little faster, maybe? Your sarcasm doesn't translate too well. Huh? I thought you were a shitty driver. Shitty? What is this word, shitty? Uh, shitty? Oh, it's a, it's a Latin expression for uh, a hot shot. Hot shot? Hot shot, you know, uh, a Top Gun? Top Gun! Top Gun, yeah, I've seen this movie. It's very good, I like it. Yeah. I'm a very shitty driver, yeah. Short of gun. Okay, uh, this is your hotel. This is our hotel? What, what is this? Hey, this ain't our hotel. Hey, hey, Shatter, I ain't saying at no dump like this, Shatter. You know, I got some pride, you know? I got a reputation, okay? Hey, like, hey! Me yeah, but I've got our expense money. Oh, okay, okay, you got the money. All right, all right. Damn swap me. They call flea markets here. Yeah, well, I don't care what they call it. I don't want to be in the middle of one. Jet lag. Shadow, look, I can't sleep on that bed. What's wrong with that bed? Because I gotta be near the AC vent. You wanna tell me why? Hey, I'm just looking out for you, all right? You know, if I get too hot while I'm sleeping, I snore like a garbage disposal, okay? Okay, okay. Whatever works. Can you get ready now? I'm Captain Harad. I have some questions to ask you. The 
Is that the way Chicago police dress for business? On our better days. <laughs> I should hate to see you on one of your bad days. My questions have to do with the background investigations regarding Rabbi Schindler's activities and associations during his brief stay in the United States. Uh, excuse me, uh, Captain Arad. Is this going to take a long time? Due to the circumstances of the crime and the condition of Rabbi Schindler's body, my intention is to be precise, Detective Jackson. I take it you are not unfamiliar with that word. Let's begin from the time of his entry into your country. Nine weeks ago? Mm. That completes the inquiry, gentlemen. I have no more questions at this time. You may leave now. Oh my God. I get the impression that Rabbi Schindler's murder is not an isolated case. Keep your impressions to yourself, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, Captain. You know, we're all cops here. I'm the only cop. You two are tourists. And that will be your only status while you are in Israel. See that you remember that. Attempt to practice your trade here. And I promise you, I will bury you in the deepest, darkest, filthiest hole I can find. We'll get your point, Captain. <laughs> you may go now. <laughs> Number 20. Any messages? No. I think we'll give this guy Krieger a call tomorrow. What? Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you hear what Arad said? He told us to keep our noses out of it. Out of it, Shatter. I heard what Arad said. We'll rent a car tomorrow morning. So what are we coming to this guy for, huh? It's the only lead we've got. This must be the place. Hello. May I help you? Reinhardt Krieger. Do I know you, gentlemen? I know you, Reinhardt. Uh, you were referred to me. Do you know where I found this? At the Blue Ritz Hotel in Chicago. Oh, evidence. Who are you? I'm Sergeant Shatter, and this is Detective Jackson. Chicago police. Very good, Reinhardt, very good. Mm. What's up here? That is my home. You can't go up there. Who's Malcolm Lockley, Krieger? Why is his name on your business card? He's a professor at Jerusalem University. Anyway, you have no authority here. Well, what were you doing in a hotel like that with Rabbi Schindler? Huh? It was private business. And you have no right here. Now get out of my house. Oh, yeah? Well, what was that private business? Was that private business this, huh? Who was in the room with you and Rabbi Schindler? Who was it that ripped the heart right out of his chest? What? You were in that room, Krieger. You know who killed that rabbi. I don't know. That makes you an accessory to murder, Krieger. I don't know what you're talking about. You're going down, Krieger. You're going down. Get out. Get out! You're going to jail, Krieger. Get over now. It's all over, Krieger. Think we upset him? Could be. You know, I thought you were gonna play good cop. I thought you were gonna play good cop. Oh, man, you know, we gotta figure this out. Don't you read a map? Which way? Just turn down here. I'm pulling over. Do you have any idea where we are? Yeah. I mean, uh, kind of. Oh, hell no. Do you have any idea where the university is? I don't know, and I don't give a shit. 
Then why did you tell me to turn back there? Because I'm tired of you always going straight. What are y'all pissed off about? I don't like it here. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. And I'm so damn hungry, man, I could eat the south end of a northbound stump. You ate on the plane. Shadow, do you realize how long ago that was? You know, I, 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 I want my share of the padam, man. I want it right now. OK, OK. Here. Now, do you feel better? Where are you going to eat around here? Hey, 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 where does it matter, you know? It's the principle, you know? Now I can eat when I want to. Fine, fine. See, Shadow, man, you know, your problem is you're a control freak. It's either your way a no way. Hey, but that ain't my way. What the hell is this? Hey, get out of here. Out of the car, kid. No, please, hide me. You'll kill me. Who's trying to kill you? My stuff. He, he wants money. He beats me if I won't pay. What? Bezzy. Where? It's him. Please, hide me. I beg you. Back here? Yeah, I'll take care of this. Come on. Hey. Come on. Don't worry, come on, don't worry, don't worry. Hey, 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 knock it off, knock it off. What's the matter with you guys, huh? Can't you get lost? Hey, 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 did I say knock it off? Knock it off, huh? I'm gonna beat the hell hey, out of hey, him. Hey, 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 knock it off. Hey, I want you to play fair with each other, all right? Huh? All right, now I want you guys to be friends here. Come on now, shake hands. Come on. There you go. Good, good. See, now that's the American way, right there. All right, buddy. Yeah, it's the American way. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Hey, that's all right, buddy, anytime. <sighs> See that, huh? I know how to deal with kids. It don't matter which part of the world you're in, you just treat them as equal. <laughs> equal, son? Yeah. Sounds good, Cal, but don't you think we should chase those two kids down and get your wallet back? What? Why, that lousy little lion punk snaked my wallet? He sure did. Oh, man. You go down that way, I'll take this way. All right, but if you catch that little turd, you hold him for me, because I'm going to break every bone in his body. Equals, remember? Equals my ass. How long do you think you can hang there? What? Tell me where the wallet is, and I'll pick you up. You have me at a disadvantage, sir. Well? My back pocket. <sighs> What's your name, kid? Bezzy. Bezzy. This scam work on everyone? Only Americans. That figures. You know, my buddy is really upset with you. I don't think you want to run into him again. I would hope not, sir. I'll tell you what. You tell me where Jerusalem University is, and I'll let you go. Deal? Deal. OK. So how do I get there? Ah, you find that little shit? Ah, you found my wallet. Oh, oh man, the money's gone. Oh, really? It's a tough break, partner. Oh.
you know, I like to eat every day or so. Anything wrong with that, huh? No, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, all right. Too bad about your money, though. Oh, too bad about my money, huh? So what are you trying to tell me? That you're not going to share with me? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. There's his office. <clears throat> you think this guy really exists? Yeah, he exists. Frank! Don't worry, I'll down. Isn't that the girl from Mather's University? Yeah, it is. Do you want it right away? Uh-huh. In 10 minutes? I could get it together for you. Terrific. Hello again. This is quite a surprise. It goes both ways, Miss Hawkins. Hadn't expected to see you again so soon, Sergeant Shatter. Frank. Leslie. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I'm here too? Yes, you are, Detective. Jackson. Jackson? Clarice, I'd like you to meet two Chicago cops. Pleasure. How do you do? Hello. Clarice is Professor Lockley's secretary. That's why we're here. We'd like to talk to him. He's at the excavation site. How do we get there? I can take you. Great. What's to find in the middle of nowhere? It wasn't always the middle of nowhere, Mr. Jackson. Bashan existed more than a thousand years before Christ. During the Roman Empire, it was one of the largest cities. Then the first crusaders built forts and churches that were already crumbling by the time Richard the Lionheart led the third expedition into the Holy Land. You may find Professor Lockley rather eccentric. How so? He spends most of his time absorbed in a period that existed 2,000 years ago. The professor is very touchy about his work, but his interest in this church he's excavating is extraordinary. Some areas of this dig are off limits to everyone, including me. Why is that? I've learned not to ask. Oh, look at this. Ah, princess. What a pleasant surprise. We have guests. I apologize for disturbing you, Professor Lockley, but these are the Chicago police officers I told you about. This is Sergeant Shatter and Detective Jackson. Oh, yes, the gentleman with the artifact. Aren't you a trifle off your beaten path? A little. I'd like for you to take a look at this. Does the name Schindler mean anything to you? Should it? You tell me. No. What about Krieger? Uh, Reinhard Krieger? Are you interrogating me? Your name was found on Krieger's card at a murder scene. Really? Yes, Krieger telephoned me. People seek my services from all over the world to authenticate some trinket or other. Then you never met Krieger. I haven't the time to lend credence to babbling morons who blindly accept mythology and legend as fact. You know, we saw a drawing of this thing in your office. I assume you've also seen drawings of Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. Then what about this? That, sadly, is a fake. A 
comparatively modern forgery of the crown of the scepter of the mythological Prositanus. Now, why would anyone forge a piece of something that never existed? Human nature, Sergeant. Where no deity exists, create one. It's the basis of all religions, misguided faith. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Princess. You know, he's not an eccentric. He's an asshole. Said he was touchy. You know, I think she misses the tender tones of your voice. Well, she's going to be disappointed then, because you're going to call her and make the report. Why me? Because I'm a sergeant, and you're not. OK, Franco, buddy. I'd be tickled to give Captain Hall a call. After all, this is what friends are for. Because he's busy, Bonehead. Just put her on. Excuse me, Captain. Jackson's on line three from Israel. Jackson? Hey, Captain. Jackson, what the hell's going on? I specifically asked for Shatter to call. Well, Captain, I mean, look. He tried his best to call you himself, but the poor guy, I mean, he's, he's as sick as a dog. You boys won't try it again? Yeah, look, it's not really for me to mention. I mean, he'd be the last one to say anything about it, but he misses you a lot, Captain. Oh. Uh, of course. Well. He can call tomorrow when he's had a good night's rest. You, you sure he's all right? I think he's just fine. Thanks. Shit, Krieger. Uh, he took the scepter piece, too. So that's why they're here. Uh, Let's go get it back. What the hell? Uh, ain't no use in locking the door. Mr. Krieger. I've only done what you asked. 
what you paid me for. You are messy! You draw attention to yourself, also me. It's true, I made some mistakes, but, but look, I got it for you. Oh, no, you haven't. I have never been interested in fakes, as you well know. Have you any idea who I am? Let me introduce myself. Welcome to hell. Let's try to back. names. Only Alcazar is left. Frank, take a look at this. We need to go see Leslie about this scroll you found. Look, Shatter, I'm not going anywhere until I get something to eat. Now. Okay, okay, we'll eat first. Oh, Shatter, am I stuffed? Oh, boy. El Jazar. I wonder if that's a name or a place. I don't know. All I know is I gotta get something to eat. What are you doing there? What are you kidding? Well, hey! Hey, stop it! Why don't you go order? See if anyone knows what El Jazar means. I'll be right back. You all right, son? Thank you. Thank you, You're Mr. welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Another American? Hmm? The wallet. You dropped your wallet. I did. Oh, thank you. It's it's nice to meet an honest kid. Thank you very much. Hey, Shadow, our oh, food is cold, man. Hey, this is the little punk to snake my wallet. Where's my money, you little rat? Money. You know what money? Here, Bessie, give him his money. Wait a minute. Did anyone know what the name Elsa's arm meant? No, no, I haven't found out yet. I know the name. You do? It's a place in the north. Do you know how to get there? Yes, but it's a long way. Well, let's go. Hey, Shadow, what about our food? Later.
Who lives here? Dracula? A strange blind monk. A mullah named Farouk. He lives over there. He never comes out. Oh, great. Another weirdo. Another holy man. Uh, I wait in the car. Uh, I, I think I'll, I'll wait in the car, too. Come on, come on. Are you Farouk? The Rabbi Schindler is dead. How do you know? Before he left, he spoke with me of his plan to find Prosatanos with the lure of his forgery, then kill him. The servant of Satan has come to collect the nine pieces. Who is this servant of Satan or Prosotanos or whatever you want to call him? It is written in many scriptures. Then, when the heart of mankind is hardened with greed and hatred, Judgment Day will soon follow. Judgment Day? Armageddon, the fires of hell unleashed on earth. You mean worse than it is now? What does all this have to do with the scepter? If drenched in royal blood, the scepter is the key to the gates of hell. Are you trying to tell us that the guy that we're looking for really is the devil? <laughs> Only an ambassador, but one to be feared. Don't even tell me he ain't human. It is said that in the service of the Almighty, one man has a power of ten. I must go now. And you must leave this place. Wait a minute. Who are you talking about? Leave! 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 Either this guy is nuttier than a Snickers, or there's some real heavy shit going down. Hey, Frank, I can't deal with this devil shit. Hey, how about we go back to Chicago and play a uh, good cop, bad cop with our pimps and hookers? Huh? Oh, shit! Oh, Frank, 
Enough is enough, man. It's time to turn this over to the Israeli police. Yeah, you're right. Ugh. Why are we stopping here? Busy. Huh? Busy. Wake up. Wake up. Here. Take this and go home. Okay. See you later. See you, Busy. So? It may be tricky getting in, but I think it's possible. Frank, you said we were going to turn this over to the police. I never said that. What? Oh, 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 so now I have to interpret, huh? Come on, Cal, this is not the time to be... No, no, it is the time, Frank. I mean, look, you conned me into coming to this damn country. You've been conning me ever since we got here, and now you want me to help you bust into some damn cop shop? Hey, man, look, why, why, why don't you just cut my nuts off with a dull-ass butter knife? I'm your partner, man. I deserve some respect, you know? If I didn't respect you, you wouldn't be my partner. All right. So what the hell are we breaking into a police station for, huh? <laughs> Shatter. These files, they're all gonna be in Hebrew, man. The file is Interpol. It's international. Oh, great. That's gonna be a big help. French and Japanese and whatever else. Shatter, what is it? Hey, baby. What's happening? Oh. Good night. Shatter, you are getting us in deeper and deeper, man. Oh, I'll take that. Cal, come here. What? There's eight dead bodies in here. So? Eight holy men. Now, Farouk makes nine. Pieces. Think about it. Nine pieces. And the scepter's complete. All that's needed is royal blood. I'm curious about something. Yeah, curious. The last time you were curious, somebody got killed. Hello? Oh, this is Sergeant Shatter. Is Professor Lockley there? He's not here, Frank. This is Leslie. Oh, hi, Leslie. Maybe you can help me. I need Professor Lockley's lecture schedule for the last two years. Let me check. All right. Most recently, June 8th, 1992, Rome, Italy. Rome, Italy. Ah, oh, bingo. OK. Peru, the previous February. Peru. Okay. October 18th, 1991, he was in Manila. Manila. Christ. Shatter, these are all the same dates. Okay, that's enough for now, Leslie. Do you know where Professor Lockley is? No, I don't. Do you have his address? 134 Hyacon Street. What's this all about? I want you to stay there, Leslie. I'll call you later. Why? I don't want to alarm you, but at this point, Professor Lockley is a murder suspect. <laughs> That's not possible. Pro 
Professor Lockley is a friend and a colleague. I want you to trust me on this, Leslie. All right, I'll do as you ask, but you're wrong. I know you're wrong. We'll see. Goodbye. Goodbye. I've never been far from you, Princess. You're much too important to me. As you are to me. Hardly in the same way, I think. So what did Frank want? Oh, um, he just wanted to... He's found me out, hasn't he? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. You're scaring me, Professor Lockley. You have nothing to fear, Princess. You will have the opportunity to elevate me to a place I have awaited for centuries. I am Prositanos. Your passage to eternity. This is it. Let's go catch us a killer. Let's go. Looks like he's not here. Let's look around and see what we can find. Come take a look at this. Mm. Who does that look like to you? Oh, is that Leslie? Wow, she looks like royalty. Who are you calling now? Shalom. Professor Lockley's office. Clarice speaking. Uh, this is Sergeant Shatter. Well, let me speak to Leslie. She's not here, Sergeant. She left some time ago. I just saw a picture of Leslie with an older man, a very distinguished-looking fellow. Oh, yes. That's her father. Sir Edward Hawkins, the Duke of Claymore. A Duke? Her father's a Duke? Royal blood. Where did she go? To the excavation site with Professor Lockley. What are we up against? We'll know soon enough. Oh, divine master, I restore the scepter in your honor. The key to your resurrection and power. May the union of this being and my spirit Transcend and release your vital presence into the world once again to reign forever. Royal blood. 
I prepare to anoint my spirit with this royal blood. Here, grab a light, boy. Get out of here before he comes back. Yeah. Leslie, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Leslie, wake up. Is there anything in the myth that tells us how to kill this guy? Come on, think. Think, Leslie. How do we kill this guy? Again. Beats the hell out of me. Let's get Leslie and get out of here. What's happening? Where is he? What do we do now? Good cop, bad cop? Funny.
Eat this. As it was written, from the west again, salvation came. Two soldiers of another kind have confronted and destroyed the beast with his own weapon. So it has been done, as passed to me by my father's father. I must take unto myself the shattered scepter of the demon to scatter the elements. From whence they came, that neither human eyes nor heaven's light should ever again fall upon them. So what are your plans? I've got some work to finish up here. And I hope I'll be seeing you in Chicago. You will. I gotta go, buddy. Uh, but now, I, I want you to remember what I told you, okay? A life of crime, it's not the way to go. All right? Okay. Uh, well, I gotta go, buddy. Uh, boy, boy. It's okay. Are you missing anything? <laughs>